coach Kev, you know, reaching out to our fans. So sometimes during the season it's so tough to get back. So this way we reach out to our fans, give a little bit, let them know how much we appreciate their support. Yeah, a little bit of uh, shake up somewhat amongst your players, you still feel pretty solid? Oh, feel great about the team. Feel great about the team. We lost some key guys right there. We feel good about the guys that are coming in, the guys that are returning, also the addition of Jerron Maiman being back. So we're very excited about our program. Gonna play your point for you next year. <laughs> well, right now, the young man, Darius Thompson, is the guy that beat him. He's a point guard, 6'4 guy at Murphy, Murphy's Braille. Very talented young man, skilled guy, passion for the game, great IQ for the game. He's getting big and strong, so we're excited about him. Anybody else? Who's the best star on this caravan? Oh, Dave Hart. Oh, Dave Hart's the guy. No, it's, this is fun time. It's great being a part of this. Uh, Butch has done a great job. Holly came in the tennis today, but they do a tremendous job. And this is a family, so this is fun to be a part of. Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. They were chewing the truck when I got in the truck. When we get off the plane, I think it's a great gesture. I think the fans are really bought on. But Butch is doing a tremendous job of selling it. So everybody, everywhere we go, somebody's bringing bricks. Hopefully I don't take one off my house. So. <laughs> Thanks. Coach, you mentioned Trey Was that a surprise at all to you? Did you see that? Did you, have a you know, we wish Trey Golden the best. You know, Trey Golden did some big things for our program. Wish we had a little bit. Would y'all know being a to play with extra in the league this year? Is that going to help him a lot? Jordan? Yeah. With USA Basketball? Yeah. I think it's great for him. He's an experienced guy. He's been with that staff before. Billy Donovan knows him, so hopefully he makes a team, which I think he will. But I think it's fun for Jordan Stokes. He's playing against great talent. But in the summertime, to break a little monotony, you're playing against your own guys every day to go with USA Basketball. It'll probably be three weeks out of the month of June. Great competition. I think it's fun for him. Oh, no, 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 no. I told Johnny, I'll keep it simple. I don't show him too much. But it's good for our guys. It's good for our program. But also, you know, Jordan McCray with the Kevin Durant camp. That's, that's a great thing. It's not USA basketball. It's a tremendous gesture for a wing guy to get invited to Kevin Durant's skill camp. Not many guys able to get that. He got it done. When you look, when you look for next season to see um, Star Stokes and McCray come back, what are you kind of hoping that they're going to develop in the offseason coming into next year? Well, the thing about both of those guys who uh, messed around with the NBA draft, they got all the information from the NBA teams of what they need to work on. I think it's great for those guys coming back because now they're improving those skills. Uh, Joe McCray scores the ball. There's some things they need to improve on the defensive side of the ball. Joe Nell Stokes, they want to see Joe Nell shoot the perimeter shot. And I think in, in Joe Nell's case with the perimeter shot, it's more me as a coach as opposed to Joe Nell not shooting. So we're excited about where these guys are going, but they're putting a tremendous amount of work in right now. Thanks, Thank you.